You're in for a little shock. Reward on the road. Come a little closer. Fortunate. Quite the find.
feel the blessings of the seven? In Mondstadt, people call them animacula. They can be fitted into the statue's eyes. Some stories say the statue's eyes originally had gems that were taken by swallows, but animaculi never had a physical form from the start. People with visions collect them to offer to the statues as blessings. Unlike others with powers, you don't have a vision. But then the rules of this world don't apply to you anyway, so... Keep offering animaculi and maybe you'll receive more blessings! You're in for a little shock. Is this an answer from this world?
little fisherman's toast. Mmm, the aroma is coming from Good Hunter. A thick slice of soft white toast topped with a generous serving of onion slices lightly caramelized by the toasting. Yum, yum. Paimon's made up her mind. It's an emergency. We must order ourselves a generous serving of fisherman's toast from Good Hunter, pronto. It's on you, of course. Delicious! Hum, hum, hum. <sighs> Good Hunter's Fisherman's Toast is the best! This might surprise you, but it's actually a classic Mondstadt recipe that anyone can cook. You can try cooking it yourself if you have the ingredients. Can your cooking skills surpass that of Good Hunter's? Why, Paima would love to be your personal taster. Don't you let me down. I didn't know you were such a slacker.
sound very good. This is bad. Such a hassle. What am I going to do? Oh, thank the Thousand Winds. Your arrival must be the grace of the gods. If I may ask, envoy sent by the Animo God to save this mere mortal, could you spare a moment? Ew, cut it out. I cannot let my peers hear about this. I cannot seek help from anyone else but you. Please. Let us move to somewhere more fit for such conversations. Let's talk in the courtyard, just outside headquarters. Come with me. What's with the sneakiness? This place will do. Tell us what it's about already! How should I begin? Oh, right. Let me tell you a secret first. It's a secret of my past, and I confide in you to keep it. Don't worry. Paimon's lips are sealed. As a matter of fact, my grandfather was a pirate. Oh. Wait, why do you sound so blithe? Do you think I'm making it up? Look at my eye patch. I inherited it from my grandfather, and this is solid proof that we are related by blood. My, how could you not know such common knowledge? <laughs> this is no different from children inheriting their hairstyles from their parents. Yesterday, I was glancing through the notes my grandfather left and stumbled upon records that spoke of a treasure. Treasure? According to his notes, the treasure is buried in the lost Arcadian ruins. Treasure. But the location of the ruins is currently unknown. I've tried searching for clues. Treasure! Kaya, what kind of treasure is it? Gold? Or better yet, gems? <laughs> treasures that consist of nothing but gold and gems are third-rate treasures. My grandfather's treasure is a sword. A magic sword that grants the wielder unrivaled power. Oh, wow! The sword was dropped from Celestia into the sea by a god. It was later salvaged by my grandfather's crew by pure coincidence. The moment he gripped the sword, thunder roared, billows howled, and the clear skies were suddenly swallowed by raging winds. With the might of the magic sword, my grandfather went on to defeat a hydra, a silver-haired banshee, a wicked abyss dragon. But the immense power of the sword enticed many more greedy pirates. To avoid meaningless conflicts, my grandfather hid the magic sword. The world we live in is fascinating, full of unknown and inexplicable wonders. Holy moly, that's just insane! A gang of treasure hoarders has been very active lately, and many ruins have had their relics stolen by them. I'm afraid that they will soon discover the Arcadian ruins, and the magic sword will be lost. We won't let it fall into the wrong hands! We must get the sword before them! You just rest assured that we are here to help! Wow. Great. Please keep it a secret. I'll wait for your good news. Hey, so what you think? Isn't it exciting? We're talking about a super duper powerful sword. Well, let's go to the Adventures Guild and see if we can find out.
out more. The adventurers should know more about the ruins, right? Hey, kiddo! Welcome to the Adventurer's Guild! Hmm. We're not here for something that boring. We're looking for a sword that fell from Celestia. One that can kill eight-headed banshees and silver-haired hydras. It's super mega uber powerful. It's fine as long as Paimon doesn't tell them the treasure's location. So, Cyrus, do you know where the lost Arcadian ruins are supposed to be? Arcadian ruins? Never heard of them. Thanks for your intel anyway. If you do find these ruins, I'd love to see them. Uh, my intel? Still no clues. Well, it's not like it's gonna be easy. Come on, it's the hiding place of the super amazing sword. Anyway, we should go meet up with Gaia first. <sighs> oh, you're back. Do you have news for me? Listen, we asked around the Adventures Guild and found... Well, nothing. <laughs> that much is expected. Why is that? Oh, I only mean that what's the fun in finding it without the hard work? However, I do have some clues. I sent someone to collate black market intel. It seems that someone does know about the Arcadian ruins. Really? Where's the guy? Now, now, as per the black market's rules, they will send someone to meet us to prevent leaks. We will be meeting the informant at the Whispering Woods. Then what are we waiting here for? You have my thanks. Of course, you'll be compensated for your troubles. By the knights. Ooh! No 